Hi, in the news this week, Singapore's first liberal arts college, Yale NUS, has officially opened at College Avenue East in Clementi. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, who was at its inauguration ceremony, said the new college offers a unique experience for students with its broad-based liberal arts program. In order to succeed, he said it needs to experiment and adapt the Yale model to Asia. Yale NUS therefore needs a curriculum and a college ethos that responds to this regional context. Its graduates have to understand these countries, have a feel of how they work, what they need, how they can move forward. The campus, which is the size of almost nine football fields, boasts various facilities including 1,000 student rooms, a library and art studios. And next, driverless vehicles could be running on Singapore roads in 10 to 15 years. The Ministry of Transport has announced trials of such vehicles at Gardens by the Bay, One North, Sentosa and West Coast Highway. Two autonomous vehicles have already started public trials at One North, while trials at Gardens by the Bay will start in December. These trials are part of Singapore's long-term plan to introduce auto vehicles on public roads and improve our land transport system. And lastly, financially needy children who attend student care centres will get higher subsidies from next year when fees are expected to go up. From January, each child under the ComCare Student Care Fee Assistance Scheme will get up to $30 more in subsidies per month. About 7,000 families are expected to benefit from this initiative. That's all for today. See you next week. <music>